So on this episode, we're going to go over the three different ways for you to find out which rear gear differential you have in your C5 Corvette. So let's jump right into it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back. If you are new, my name is Dave. I own a 2004 Corvette and this channel is based around my ownership of my Corvette, which goes into everything from maintenance, your typical issues with C5s, as well as modifications for C5s. So if that's something that you'd be interested in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And before you leave this video, make sure you give this one a thumbs up. And also the new graphic you just saw was created by my buddy Matt over at iDrive Daily. So I'm gonna leave a link down in the description to his YouTube channel. Make sure you go check him out. And as you guess from the name of his channel, he daily drives his C5 Corvette. Now, like I said in the intro of this video, there are three different ways to find out which rear gears you have in your C5 Corvette. But for you manual guys, I will save you a little bit of time. All manual C5s, from the factory at least, came with 342 rear end gears. And of course, since all Corvettes are manuals, now the video is over. Just kidding, guys. About only 40% of C5 Corvettes were produced with the manual transmission, which... For the C5 was the first generation where the manual transmission was actually a, a an option that actually cost money in order to get the manual transmission. But like I said, any manual transmission came with the 342 gears from the factory. Now for the rest of us that got the 4-speed automatic 4L60 transmission, there were two different options. Either a 273 uh, rear gear or a 315, what they call the performance rear gear. And like I said, 60% of the C5s were produced with the automatic. About 60% of those automatics were optioned with the performance axle 315 gears. Now, whether you have a manual or an automatic, you may still want to check to make sure which rear gear you have, in case maybe the previous owner did some modifications and actually switched out your rear end. So the first way to know which rear end gear you have is to actually get up underneath the car. You have to lift it get it on jack stands, whatever you need to do. And then right above the fill plug, there's a tag that tells you which rear gear you have. Now, if you know your car doesn't have any modifications to it, the second way to check out which rear end gear you have, if you do have the automatic, is to check the RPO codes. Now, the RPO codes were in one of two different areas. In the 97 and the 98 cars, they were in the rear cargo area under the driver's side compartment, right underneath that lid, pick that lid up, and the RPO codes was right under there. In the 99 through 04 cars, the RPO code is actually in the glove box, which is nice and easy. You just pull the glove box open and you see all of your RPO codes. Now the RPO code you're looking for is GU2 would be the 273 rear gear and the G90 and the G92 would be your 315 and or your performance gear. If you have the 315 gear, you're going to have both codes G90 and G92. You can't, you won't have one or the other. You will have both. Now comes the third way to find out which rear gear you have. If you have some modification work, maybe there isn't any tag on there. Maybe you're not 100% sure if the RPO codes actually match up to what you have in the car. So for this one, you're going to have to check out the RPMs as you're driving with the car. Now in the auto, when you're in third gear and when you're in the manual and fourth gear, each one of those gears is a one-to-one -one ratio. So if you're just cruising at 80 miles per hour, you're going to look at your RPM gauge. And whatever your RPM is, divide that by 1,000 and you're going to be in the ballpark of what uh, rear gear you have. So if you're right around 2730, you have a 2.73 gear. If you're around 3150, it's a 3.15 gear. If you're around 3420, it's a 3.42 gear. And then there's very popular ratios that guys upgrade just to get a little bit more performance out of their Corvettes. So again, if you're cruising at 80 and if your RPMs are right around that 3730 mark, you have a 3.73 gear. And then if you're at 3,900, you have a 390 gear. And if you're at 4,100, you have a set of 410s. Now, every gear option has their pros and cons. It all pretty much depends on what you're actually using your car for. Me, personally, I did drive a C6, actually, that had the 273 gears in it. And I thought it was just sluggish. That's just the way I perceived it to be. I'm not saying the 273 is a crap gear. But if you do have the 273 gear, one of the best performance upgrades is upgrading that rear gear. A lot of guys go to a 342, and that's because a 342 is plentiful, right? Like I said, every manual C5 came with a 342. Now, as you all know, I have an automatic, and mine does have the 315 rear end. Um, I did not do any upgrade to it. From what I've read through the forums and other Facebook groups, uh, if you do have the 315s, you're not gonna see all that much of an improvement. If you go just to 342s, I'm not saying there won't be an improvement at all. I'm just saying for the cost of going into a 342, 
a lot of guys are saying you're better off going to a 373. But like I said earlier, if you're changing your gears, there's pros and cons to every gear combination. So if you did change your gears, let me know down in the comments what gear you had and what gear you went to and what your experience was once you switched to that gear. All right, guys, so those are the three ways to check which rear gear you have. The first was just to check the tag above the fill plug on the differential case itself. The second was to check the RPO codes. And the third was just to go for a short little cruise and divide your RPM by 1,000, and that will put you in the range of which rear gear ratio you have. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, guys, please subscribe. Thank you, and have a great day.